Hello and welcome to this Rolly Equator 2 tutorial. In this video we're going to take a look at the Wavetable Oscillator Source. The Wavetable is one of four oscillator types that can be loaded into any of the six source slots in Equator 2. A Wavetable Oscillator can produce a wide variety of timbres by scanning through a table of single cycle waveforms and morphing between each one. Equator 2 comes with over 240 unique wavetables and you can import your own, including wavetables from popular programs like Xfer Record Serum, Tone 2 Icarus or Kilohertz Phase Plant. The wavetables are grouped into categories and Equator 1 users will find the single cycle waveforms here too, as well as standard virtual analog waveforms. These waveforms in the single cycle section are slightly different. They are virtual analog, meaning that they are procedurally generated live by Equator 2 in much the same way that an analog synthesizer works. I recommend using these for analog style patches and frequency modulation. Once a wavetable is selected, center panel shows the detailed view. The wavetable position control moves through the wavetable and the morph switch will enable or disable smooth interpolation between each waveform. The wavetable source has built-in unison with up to five voices. The detune and spread controls detune and pan each voice across the stereo spectrum. This is possible because Equator 2's signal path is 100% stereo from the oscillators through the filters and onto the effects. The symmetry control applies wave shaping to the current wavetable. In the case of a square wave, this amounts to pulse width modulation, but it can be applied to absolutely any wavetable or single cycle waveform. Wavetables have two potential frequency modulation sources. These allow you to use any of the six oscillators to modulate the frequency at audio rates. If you were to use all six slots in this way, you would effectively have a six operator FM synthesizer, which allows for some incredible possibilities in sound design. Ring modulation works in a similar way, with the ability to ring modulate any two sources. In this case, the ring modulation signals are mixed together and sent to a dedicated bus on the routing page. Here, much like the other sources, you can send the ring mod bus to either the two filters or any of the three master VCAs. Finally, as with every source type, there is a dedicated filter that offers multiple filter types, resonance, drive, key tracking and an additional high and low pass for tone shaping that can be positioned before or after the source filter. That's it for this video, I'll see you in the next one.